Murphy is recognized for questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would agree we have people on both sides of our uh, aisle that we'd like to get rid of. But from that point, um, I'll, uh, I'll just give a quick story. My mom, my, my dad passed away when I was young, and she was hell-bent when I was in the fourth grade to send me to Catholic school, and they put me in the fifth grade. And me and Sister Mary Regina, after six weeks, both decided we'd be better back in public school. Um, I want to give a different perspective on what we're talking about here. The, uh, the most overused phrase today is the, quote, root causes of all this. But I'd actually like us to go back and look and see why this is. Why is this the big fight between public school, private school, et cetera, et cetera? They used to work in harmony many, many years ago. Um, it, let us take a, our time capsule back to go to 1965 and the Great Society programs when Lyndon Johnson began the destruction of the nuclear family. Remember, where does education start? It starts in the home. Absolutely starts in the home. And yes, single mom um, helped me as much as she could, but she actually wanted me to have a good education. So since that time, the nuclear family has been destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Actually, disproportionately, sadly enough, in minority communities. And so now what we're doing is that we're having kids who are having kids um, who are not then in as much, their parent is not much invested in their child as our parents formerly were. That's a number one reason we're having problems in schools. Number one, number one. And you know, I, I still see patients, and I will say, I see predominantly um, Medicaid patients, so whenever I see a child, I ask mom, um, is dad involved? And 80% say no. 80% say no. And so here we are. The kid can't even get out of the house with backing, much less go to a school. Now, yes, that single mother oftentimes wants the best for their child. And regardless of where they're raising that child, they should be able, regardless of their income, where they were raising the child, their poverty level, et cetera, send that child to a place where he or she would have a better life than what they have, period, point blank. So my wonderful colleague across the aisle talked about crises, that we create crises. It's absolutely not. This crisis was created 50 years ago, and now we're managing it further and further and further as we get into this time. Now public schools and so much, I, I was on the board of trustees of a college. What did they teach? It's called microaggressions. It's caused victimization, such to the fact when kids now get out employed, finally are employed, they're getting kicked out in the first two weeks of their job. Biz, biz, business Week, I believe it was, about a month ago, said 12% of Gen Zers are getting kicked out, fired in the first two weeks because they're being offended. Let's go back and we look at the people who actually caused these problems. Yeah, we need a workforce. But we can't get kids, if they quit in junior high school, who should have a future doing a good job as a truck driver, as a, as a, a, a diesel uh, operator, a mechanic or somebody, getting jobs. But you can't do that when you've destroyed the family. You can't do that no matter what tax incentive is offered, no matter how much money you pour into a public school, no matter how it's squandered, how much you, money you spend on a child, it starts in the home. And I don't know how we fix that in Congress, because we screwed it up 50 years ago. And I don't know how you put the genie back in that bottle. So, you know, guys, I, I don't have, I'm not going to ask a question because I really don't even know where to start with this. But I, I think our colleges and universities, sadly enough, we're, we're teaching the mantra that everybody has to go get a four-year education. And by that fact also, so many of our degree programs, physical therapy, nurse practitioner, I can talk about these medical communities, all require doctorates. They're, they're killing kids with, it, with tuition when they don't need it. And so we have so many kids just going to college, then at two years, they're flunking out. And they're going back to community college, which is where they should have started to begin with, but then they have a massive, massive debt um, required for tuition. So I applaud you, all of you, regardless of whatever your witnesses are, because I think you're here with the right heart. The problem, sadly enough, is in our home, is in the lack of the desire for a good education in our home and the structural problems created by the Great Society programs. With that, Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back.